So the next award is um, for the Man of the Year 2019. And this goes to the CEO of Airpeace Airlines, Sir Alan Onyema. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, as I was just talking before, why the representative of Airpeace is coming around, I would like to thank them because for the trip from Lagos, we couldn't have afforded all the travel, but they have provided some of our stars with free ticket to come to Abuja. So please say thank you to them for us. Thank you. So on behalf of um, Zafar Awards, I present this to you. I'd like to um, thank the organizers, Sam Awuzia and the Nollywood Entertainment, the entire Nollywood Entertainment industry for this award. And just to say that um, I consider the entertainment industry a powerful instrument for social engineering. A very powerful instrument for social engineering. Our society is in deep, deep trouble. And all of us in all sectors are needed to use the various channels we have and the resources we have to transform our country. And since Nigerians patronize Nollywood so much, Nigerians at home, Nigerians in the diaspora, you have powerful instruments in your hands that can change Nigeria. May God help you to use this instrument properly. Uh, we need a transformation in our values. We need transformation in our standards. We need transformation at every level. And since we all patronize this industry, may the Lord show you how to use this powerful instrument for the betterment of our society. God bless you all. Thank you very much. All right now, we thank Nollywood. Nollywood has done a very great thing for us in Nigeria, especially those of us who came from the rural area. I remember... When I was in primary school, I was a Boy Scout. They said a governor was coming to his saying, that was my town. And so I, I was very happy that the governor was coming. But what made me so happy was the fact that as the head, I mean, the, the troop leader of the Boy Scout, they said I was going to have a handshake with the governor because we were going to wait for him at the outskirts of the town he will get down from the car and he will have an handshake with the troop leader. I was the troop leader, a primary school student. A governor was going to have an handshake with him. I was very happy. Two weeks to the time, we went to the bush. We had training. We did a lot of things. I went to the village, collected a lot of money. I bought new uniform. I did a lot of we did a lot of, To cut the long story short, on the day that the governor was coming, Remember, I did not eat yesterday because the governor was coming today. The fact that I was going to have an handshake, don't belly for me, where, where. I reached there. The governor was coming for 10 o'clock. We were there for 6 o'clock. I organized my troop. We did a lot of match practice, and then I was waiting. 10 o'clock, the governor was coming. 11 o'clock, the governor was coming. 12 o'clock, the governor was coming. 1 o'clock, the governor was coming. 2 o'clock, the governor was coming. Everybody was complaining. <laughs> me, I no complain. Say, be you go have a handshake with me. My hand was ready. I was so happy. 3 o'clock, the governor was coming. 4 o'clock, the governor was coming. To the glory of God. Quarter to five. The the governor came, gone. I did not see the governor. Thank God Almighty. But to the glory of God today, to the glory of God, by the grace of God, because I have the privilege to be in Hollywood, I have not had only a handshake with the governor, but with the president, ministers, 
All the way. I know all of you, you are still even sitting. The governor did not bother to see me that time. You are sitting down here and you are looking at me and listening to me. A round of applause for everybody. Round of applause for Nollywood. So, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to hand over the microphone to Fanny Bone. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. Liz, can we make a lot for Saka, please? Thank you. All right, so um, we'll pace it up. You know, sorry for the um, delays. We'll pace it up and uh, we, um, we'll keep it going. But just before that, we have a short um, musical interlude for two minutes. Then we'll continue. Please join me as I make walk up on stage for two minutes. Ifoma Mwaduno, please. Two minutes. Then we take the awards. Sorry for delays. Thank you. All right, DJ, let's go. Can we give them a round of applause, a please? A round of applause for them. They are they're actually sisters. They are sisters. The, the first one, nine senior, the... God of Elijah. The second one. Yeah. You like my voice? Uh, yeah, yeah. Nice All song. right. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're having fun tonight. All right. Without wasting too much time, we're moving on to the next category, which is the presentation of the awards to Pioneer and of the Zafa Global Awards. And to do this one, we're bringing the CEO of Zafa Awards, yep. Prince Anwuzia. Thank you so much, sir. Receive. Please don't make it loud for him, please. Make it loud for him, please. Thank you. Thank you. Roach, Beach. Big ways, fight face. I don't dare wait for you, my charge. I'm um, so. Sorry, our CEO said I should please plead with you 
If you come to take your awards, please keep the speech short, you know, 58 seconds, because um, we're trying to buy time, please. Thank, Thank you. you. Very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Like I said earlier, this night is actually not only to give competitors award, but also to recognize those people we, re you know, we refer to as pioneers of Zafa Global Award. So those people that came to London 2006 that has made it possible for us to have this night continuing, I want to appreciate you. I'm not going to do it in order of superiority or lower or higher class. As I call here, I have one of our biggest veteran uh, actors here. Can I have Brother Zach Oji, please? Paul Obazile to receive one of the veteran awards, please. Thank you. Mr. Paul Obazile. I'll just help you, you know, I'll just, you know, refresh your memory. If you remember this song, those who live in glass house don't draw stones. And now the guy be this. So I'm just hyping you, I'm hyping you up so they will know that. Thank you very much. Yeah. And uh, I see Uncle Zach Oji. Please, can we, can we clap now? These are, you know. I want to uh, say a very big thank you and um, uh, special congratulations to Prince um, Sam Amuzia. Um, it's been beautiful, it's been wonderful, carrying the trademark and um, the flag of Nigeria across UK and uh, actually putting us on the face of people. We say thank you to Nigerians, thank you to people who actually go out of their way to support us even in this uh, very harsh economy. God bless Nigeria. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And for those of you who may, I don't think there's anybody who doesn't know our uncle here, Zach Oji. Yeah. For those of us who saw the movie Ikuku, that is Raymond. So I'm just, I try to remind them so they go, no, know. because they don't really know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I want to thank God Almighty for giving me the creative power to touch the lives of people through my craft. I want to thank my family that has stood solidly behind me, uh, considering the erratic schedules I have traveling all over the world working. My wife is right here with me. And uh, um, I want to thank her personally for tolerating me. Um, it's not easy to be married to an actor, especially one who is always on the road, traveling in and out of the country. So I want to thank her especially on this day for, for having my back all the time and for taking care of the home, and for sacrificing so much for me, for my work. I want to thank uh, Zafa, whose CEO is standing here, Mr. Sam Amuzia for sustaining this award for the last 13 years. 13 years? It's, it's not been easy, you know, doing it outside the country and also doing it within. Um, I want to also thank all my colleagues, those who are here and even those who are not here. It is not easy to be in Nollywood, but the grace of God is always sufficient for us. If you have the passion, the passion will always sustain you. When we started, we were ready to do it for nothing free of charge because of the passion mm. and that passion is what has sustained us till today and will keep sustaining us till tomorrow. Thank you. God bless you all and thank you, Zafar Award. Thank you, sir. As I said, this is Raymond. Our next recipient is one and only the youngest, the oldest, the middle age, Emeka A.K. Samuel. Uh, let me go far and do this hype. If you know this guy, you would know Deadly Affair. <laughs> this guy married Mama. <laughs> had an accident, came back in part two as another actor, Fabian Adibe. Yeah. This guy in one movie slapped Genevieve, she went blind. <laughs> That's the man we call the one and only, the left-handed, Emeka Ike. Make some noise now. 
I had to shift. Before Jim Ike started forming accents, America had accent 92. Funny bone, leave me alone now. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for this, uh, for being here to um, watch this and being part of this program. Uh, I also want to thank um, Mr. Sam Amuzie for keeping this trademark this long. I know it's not easy to get a product going on for years. Plenty of us had set up plenty of companies and they had folded up before five years. This is 13 years. Please, let's encourage this young man. He's done well. My first visit to UK, he was the one. I'm sure he gave us per diem that time. He paid us to come to UK. He's done a whole lot for Nollywood. Please put your hands together for Zach. Uh, wow. Thank you very much, Sam. Thank you for this. Award. Thank you, sir. Thank uh, you. Mr. Sam, thank you God for the you. visa. OK. <laughs> then. Our next recipient, I don't want to just shut it up. Emeka continues. Can we have Emeka in your chat, please? Ha. Hmm. I full ground. Wow. I thank God Almighty for this. Mm. I thank my wonderful family. They are the pillar behind me. I want to say thank you to everyone. This award is for every one of us. They called me Mama Zafa. I will leave that story for another day. Zafa, for 13 years, I've been attending Zafa in London every year. Mm. Uncle Sam, I want to say a very big thank you to you. He gave me the first visa to London. And since then, every year, I've been going to London. Oh. Today, I'm here. Thank you very much. God bless you. Praise the Lord. The shake. All right. There is somebody I didn't see here, but I think he's here. If he's not here, please, one of you come and take this award for him. Uh, he's not a pioneer, but he has believed in Zafa. And if you listen to some of our uh, voiceovers, uh, even NTA wanted to take his voice, his eye, and everything yesterday. Brother Shegu Arinze. Please. Let me go down and do this one. Ladies and gentlemen, this man coming up now, if you understand arm robbery <laughs> in Nollywood, he gave Ramsey Noah a gun to kill his own father in Silent Night. We call him the Black Arrow, Mr. Shegun Irinze. I can go further again. He's but not I will too much it. taller than me. Why did they say they want, he's too tall? It's the work, sir. I wasn't really expecting this, but... Uh, uh -huh. I said it. I'd like to say a big thank you to you, Zephyr. Um, I've always been behind working, and now I continue to work. And um, please do keep up the standards. Thank you. God bless you. Mr. Shagun will love you, sir. God bless you, sir. And the last person on this now is going to shock because he was not told. He has been around us. He never knew he was going to be called on here. Please, can you welcome Hafiz Oyetoro Elias Saka? Uh, uh, that is the man that broke the heart of Etisalat. to MTN with no excuse. Thank you. Very short. Sure. Wow. I don't put. Well, um, first, let me thank God for this. Thank everybody. Thank uh, Uncle Sam. Um, I never expected this. Well, this is another one. We want to give glory to God. And thank everybody for this. Um, I just discovered that... Um, of all of us that came to collect the award, I tried, tried so hard to hear domestic English speaker. No! But the only person that made it so easy was uh, Emeka Anocha. When you, when you are in doubt, make it simple. The guy knew that uh, he's not, 
a domestic English speaker. He just made it simple and everybody is happy. A round of applause for everybody. Thank you. This is to God. And my late mother who just leave me about two months ago. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Please, can we give him a round of applause, please? There's one of you, very big and eldest actress, Miss Dolly Onachuku, please. Please, can we make it loud for her? This is my auntie. She's my auntie. Please. She, she doesn't even know. Yeah. Thank you very much. I would like to thank God that I'm able to come to receive this award. And um, I just want to say um, that when we started Nollywood, what kept us going was the love that we had for the industry and the love we had for, we have for one another. But I've noticed, you know, I just want to advise the new ones, you know, um, it's good to compete, but healthy competition. Because what keeps us going is love. We, we have each other's back as artists. We do things together. We, um, we support each other. So we That's should keep going like that. And I'm absolutely proud of how big Nollywood has come and how big it has, um, what it has attained, you know, since we, um, it started. So yes, I'm just here to preach love. We should love one another, you know, especially in the industry. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. All right. this advice for the new ones, you do it on Instagram. That's where they are. That's where they are more. All right. Without wasting much of your time, please, back to back, we'll do dance interlude. Please join me as I make welcome. They are Tilogo dancers, please. Let's clap for them, please. Thank you. Thank you.
Now we go to the next round of awards. Yep. Thank you. Okay. Just before the next awards, we'll, we'll take a comedy interlude. This guy is my colleague. He's not well. He's not normal. Like when we call comedians that are okay, we don't add him to that list. He's not okay. Please join me as I make welcome the one and only Death Stalker. I'm gonna clap now. He's not normal. You know, just so I prep you for what you're about to experience. He's not okay. Thank you. All right, funny boy. Thank you. Uh, my name is uh, Ogane Kukunya, Ogane Buria, Onambi Desmond. I'm a comedian by birth. I funny. If my jokes cannot make you laugh, it simply means you're not supposed to be here. You're supposed to be at TB Joshua Church asking for a solution. <laughs> All right, I came in yesterday and please, I'm joking. Everything I will say here for the five minutes, they are all lies. Please. Please. I was driving down from the airport. I don't, know, I don't know how police behave here. You know, Lagos police, we know how we attack them. But here, I was driving, police parked me. Parked, I parked. Police was asking me, who are you? I said, I'm a comedian. He said, where, where have you commend? I said, sir, I commend everywhere. It's okay. The police said, I come, I don't know you because I know Alibaba, I know Okibakasi, I know Julosago, I know AY, I don't know you. I said, sir, we share the same problem because I know IG, I know AIG, I know DIG. He was shocked. He said, we should be DIG. I said, even though you don't know. I said, that's deputy inspector of police. He said, wow, not true. So what do we do now? Say, man, you need to hustle so that we will know ourselves tomorrow. <laughs> All right, that's an lighter note. Please let me. Uh... No, no. So I was cracking just about police. He gave me a talk, Rich. Now the man called me. He was putting on native, so I don't know. He knows not the quick show there for TV. So after my performance, he called me, young man, come. I said, good evening, sir. I said, wow, I've been listening to your jokes. You are doing very well. You are very intelligent. I said, thank you, sir. I said, I noticed you've been talking about the police for the past 15 minutes. I said, I was joking. He said, beautiful. It's like you're new here. I said, yes. He said, that's why I'm asking you because I will lock you up jokingly. No, they didn't take me to Kano. They took me to Kano. Thank you. All right. Now, uh, those of you that buy Black Friday things, let me advise you. One of my friends bought Benz, 80,000 Benz. I was asking him, this Benz, they walk? He said, they walk. He start and he walk. He drive and go from, go back, he walk. I said, which day we won't wash up? He said, we don't go wash them because they give them area where you no go drive and go. I said, where and where? He said, he called a call list for me. He said, me no near Lekki. Me no Risu Lere. Me no near Bagada. Me no even think of Ikorodu. I said, all this place when you call, so where they say me you drive them? He said, now for their compound. Lagos is a beautiful place. Let me talk about Lagos. We're in Abuja, so let me talk about Lagos. One day Lagos, we'll talk about Abuja. Now, good. Lagos is a beautiful place where people that have problems advise people that have the same problem. That's Lagos for you. I don't and uh, I, uh, the MC was saying, uh, was talking about Igbo people. We have 80% of Igbo people. Almost everybody in Igbo. Igbo Kwenu. The day, the day. By marriage, they'll be Igbo. I'll be beautiful. Uh, Igbo people, I respect you people so much, but the only problem I have with you is to convince somebody to buy what you will not use. <laughs> Igbo people convince my friend to buy crushes, and his leg is good. <laughs> I was surprised. I, I was upset. I saw my friend, my, my neighbor, came down, Femi, Yoruba boy. Came down, opened his bonnet, brought two crushes. I was shocked. 
from up. I said, Femi, he said, what happened? You buy crushes. He said, my brother, Nassau Asiamu. I said, this one, you buy crushes. Your legs square? He said, no. You want square? Yeah. He said, no. You did plan square, huh? He said, no. Why you can't buy crushes? He said, no, in French. Shukudi. <laughs> now I convinced him. I was forced to ask, what did they tell you? Because conviction have to go with words. What did they tell you? He said, the boy tell us, me buy her now when they do on promo. I no no I love Igbo people I won't lie to you I love Igbo people. Do you know Igbo person sold AC for my friend two horsepower. My guy rich has fixed AC the way normal you might be the fix AC. On him after twenty minutes he enter inside the hut outside the cool. The boy called the complain he go meet the boy which kind AC you sell for me now inside the hut outside the cool. Igbo boy say you know carry your bed go outside go sleep. Now, one more joke, right? I go, beautiful. I like events like this. They'll pay you heavily. You talk small. Ah, now, poor man go pay you, pay you, pay you small money. You go crack all the joke. Go, they will tell you people joke. You say, not be making that joke. Say, cracker, they don't know him. <laughs> now, on this same Igbo note, let me do this. My friend bought DVD. I do reality check joke, right? My friend buy DVD. You know, so if you buy anything from Ibo person, if you return her, they don't give you the money back. You must buy another thing. Because before you pay, they don't spend the money. My friend buy DVD. Two Joko. My friend buy DVD. After 30 minutes, he return the DVD. Say no loud. Now the boy say, he loud. The boy say no loud. Not me buying. He no loud. Now the boy answer, which film? You say wash him. He say Yoruba movie. Now the people say Yoruba movie not the lad do. Now the people tell us say this is lad do. This one he say no lad. The lad do. He say no lad. Now the people boy call him brother. Eh, bia. We tell you blue film. Blue film the lad do. I they just put him, he never reached him in the Nadi Yoruba body shot. Reduce and reduce and too loud. Reduce and reduce. He will be sad. I say he loud. Now, those of you that came from Lagos, you know Lagos is divided into three land, mainland, island, and land. Island, you're talking about Via, Idigam, Koyi, Leki, some part of Aja, part. Island, mainland, Sulere, Ikeja, Ogudu, all those Jare, mainland, land, listen. Ikotun, Iyanokbaja, Igbeda, anywhere there's Iyanon. Where there's Iyanon Woro. No, oh now, I, I was formerly saying on the land, I moved to the main, now on the island. I want to celebrate success now. If you are not clapping, I understand. I get the way you go poor. You know they believe prosperity. <laughs> you get? That is why they say, also, may EFCC not come and come and carry everybody leave you. Okay. Now, let's do it like this. Now, AY, AY was telling me, the soccer, you go, make sense. May you move, come island. I said, no, I just moved from the... Land come the main. He said, "Emma, move come island so people go know so I get rapid growth for the industry." I said, "Not true." I said, "Okay, I got to say land they has the cheap for island. You know, say we want to say Sulere. If your accent is seven hundred thousand, it's seven hundred. If it's eight hundred, eight hundred. Island point must day. You hear eight point something, fifteen point something. I got to say a ship. I got to say me they look for agent for me." You know, be like agent for island, laptop, they define. No, 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 too many, they don't show you house. Mainland, you first use half of the rent, take transport, find house. Before you go see. And at the way the agent, they work on and so the house, they be VC agent, they work out like this. No, say the house on top of soccer way. Now, 
I said, okay, made a fine house for me. Agent called, call me. Say, don't see house for Ireland near phase one. Lucky phase one near whiskey. I said, how many bedrooms? He said, four bedrooms, two places. I said, how much? He said, 15.7. I said, you are getting it wrong. I don't want to buy it. It's for rent. He said, I saw the rent here. I said, okay, uh, for phase one, he said, um, well, I take no say problem, go there. Now, when agent asked me, say, apart from comedy, what do you do? I said, just comedy. And you want to say phase one? I said, why are you asking me? He said, because Ali Baba went the king of comedy, saying phase three. Basketball phase three. AY phase four. I never know, say, he reached phase eight. That's where funny post stays. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to wash your dirty linen outside. I'm sorry. Now, I got to say, I saw things be. Agent got to me, say, what is your budget? I said, just find the house. I will budget it. <laughs> now, it's okay. No problem. The chef is too. The money is still high. Point. I said, can you look for the house that don't have point? And I said, okay, okay. I know the kind of house you are looking for. Give me two weeks. This is where my problem start. After two weeks, agent called me. He said, thank your God. I've seen the kind of house you're looking for. I said, good. How many bedrooms? He said, six bedrooms, duplex, with two swimming pool and nine boys quarter. <laughs> I said, how much? He said, thank your God. That's why I said, thank your God. 80,000, six years. With agent and agreement and damage. I said, which of the face? He said, there's no face. It's a faceless area. I said, wait, are you telling me no face? Say yes. Now, he gave me a problem. And I said, eh, this and I said, can you just guess? That's where I started from. He said, I should guess. I said, okay, uh, I will get to Chevron. So you are stupid. You will move. I said, then it should be mega chicken. He said, you are very mad. You will go front a little. I said, that is Chongo Tedo. He said, be going. I said, don't tell me I'm going to a warrior. Yeah. He said, be going. I said, the way you are sounding is like, it's like where? He said, I'm even happy you are familiar with the road. I said, don't tell me I will get to a beju like you. He said, it's just a stone throw from Ibeju. I said, that is a pair. He said, you are almost close. I said, then it's all right. He said, you just eat in all right and drive small. I said, my brother, where actually the house day? He said, now your papa has for data said. Good evening. Please, can we give the stalker a round of applause, please, yeah? Uh -huh. So that we don't just, yeah. All right, so back to the awards. My co-host will do us the honors. All right. Hmm. You are just changing. What's his name again? Your you are just changing clothes. Yes, now. Don't worry, when you go back, you'll not see the bag again. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. I'm sure you guys have been having a good time and um, cracking up and obviously enjoying yourselves. So moving swiftly along, because we have a lot of categories to go, we'll be going into the Francophone category. And to present in this category, I have the honor of presenting to you Kaku Kwame Arnold. A round of applause for him. Yeah. Kaku Kwame. Yeah. Good evening, all. My name is Kwaku Kwame Ano, yeah. uh, chief of the delegation of the French. We come from Cote d'Ivoire and Burkina Faso. Are my guy from Cote d'Ivoire and Burkina Faso there? Yeah. Can, you, can you get up, please? So that people can see you. Get up, get up, get up, please. That's he said you should wave. Let's see you. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Bonjour, bonjour. 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 Come on to tapel. Quel est okay. à tout? Ça va, ça va, ça va. Vous pouvez ça. vous asseoir. Nous allons commencer avec la première catégorie francophone concernant le meilleur acteur de l'Afrique francophone. I'm talking about Best actor of Francophone Africa. Who is the one going to open the envelope? Me? To open the envelope. 
I'm going to open the envelope. Can you hold the trophy, please? The best actor of Francophone Africa, Isaka Sawadogo from Burkina Faso, is a representative by its director, Uma Dayon. Tu vas partager un mot à l'endroit de tous ceux qui te suivent actuellement. Euh, D'abord, euh, vous vous présentez et ensuite euh, vous laissez un mot pour que tout le monde sache euh, ce quoi ça fait, vos impressions depuis que vous êtes là. Voilà, bonsoir tout le monde, je vais m'exprimer en français. Euh, déjà, très content d'être ici au Nigeria, à Abuja, pour Zafa Awards. Nous, nous avons été euh, très contents d'avoir été sélectionnés. Donc c'est pris pour Issa Kassawadogo, je suis son, directeur, euh, son réalisateur, voilà, Omar Dagnon, euh, pour le film « À bout de souffle ». C'est un réel plaisir pour nous de recevoir ces prix aujourd'hui ici. Et aussi, euh, en tout cas, je, euh, je suis trop ému, je suis trop ému. Et vraiment, merci beaucoup, merci pour l'opportunité et merci Zafa Awad. Thank you very much. Yeah, so he's saying that he's happy to be here, that this is first time in Nigeria, and that um, he wants to come again next time. It's what he said. You're right, sir. Congratulations for the best translation. You see, I said he knows how to hear French. Next awards, please. The next award. Best actress from Africa. The winner is, again, from Burkina Faso, the country of cinema, Mulandiai. Represented by Rihanna Zongo. When you hear Zongo with Drago Savadogo, it is from Burkina Faso. Wow. Wow. Tu laisses tes impressions. To say thank you and God bless you. Thank you for all team uh, of Zafa Awards. Thank you so much. <laughs> Where are you Thanks. from? Where from, is she from? Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso. Yeah. Burkina Faso. Yeah. It's, it's obvious. It's yeah. obvious. <laughs> it's from Burkina Faso. You're welcome. Ça va bien. Burkina Faso. Welcome. What's your problem? It's her country. What? Where she's from. Okay. <laughs> All right, the next award. The next award is the Best TV Series Award of Francophone Africa. Les Lames de l'Amour de Brigitte et de Andy Mello. Le producteur, Monsieur Sylvain Abré, qui est par ailleurs le pouls de la réalisatrice Foule les pas de l'hôtel Hilton Transport de Abuja pour recevoir son trophée. Soutenons, soutenons avec les applaudissements Notre très cher Monsieur Sylvain Abré, qui va laisser d'ailleurs ses impressions en anglais certainement. Euh, bonsoir à tous. Je remercie donc le président du Zafa, Monsieur Sam, qui donne l'opportunité au film francophone de pouvoir compétir dans cette, dans ce merveilleux festival. Je dédie ce prix donc à, au réalisateur. Il en a deux Brigitte Bleu et euh, Andy Mello. Et tous les acteurs qui ont travaillé sur ce film, vous le méritez. Que Dieu vous bénisse. What he's saying is that he wants to appreciate the president of Zafa for the awards, and he's happy he's a winner, and he knows that he will grow from strength to strength. Ça va bien. You people don't appreciate my value. These people know that I hear their language. Is he correct, Kwame? Is he saying the right thing? 
This guy should be a, an interpreter. Wow, a round of applause for Fanny Bone. See, if all wait, calm down. Because you understand French now, no, you won't. Calm down first. <laughs> if you don't understand French like me, anything they are saying, just be clapping, okay? Don't worry, they are not swearing for us. It's, it's a good thing. <laughs> the next award. We're still in Francophone Africa. We're talking about the best French of Femme Director Award. I'm calling Mr. Yacent Usu from Côte d'Ivoire. Yacent Usu. Yacent Usu. Yeah. It's Chris with the trauma guy. Yacent Usu is the director of a movie. You just break it down. Congrats. Jusqu'au bout. Bonsoir, Yacinthe. Bonsoir. Euh, tu vas laisser tes impressions. Euh, je voudrais en premier lieu rendre gloire, toute la grâce à Dieu, euh, dédier ce prix à ma tante mère qui n'est plus, à tous ceux qui ont cru en moi, à mes équipes techniques surtout, et aux acteurs, je leur dédie ce prix. Merci beaucoup et merci à la famille. Yes. My translator, let go. Yes, he, he said what he said. <laughs> Never me, you're confused. He said what he said. No, exactly. no, 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 funny bone. What did he say? My sister, even him, no, you're in safe. Namigo, hear him. No, it he is said not. what he said. Let's clap for him. Yes. We continue with the best female performance award in the future film in Francophone Africa. I'm calling here the representative of Kadi Touré in L'Interprète 2. She's represented by Mr. Mr. Sylvain Agbré. Coming again. Yeah. We're talking about stars in our francophone countries. I mean Côte d'Ivoire, Burkina Faso, Senegal, Mali, Togo, and so on. Yeah. So I, so I don't want to talk. DJ, just stop playing because you don't even understand the song you're playing. That song is, is, for, is for where they bump again. This is our word. I'm, because you, you don't hear French, you wouldn't know what they're saying in the song. But we know these things. Many of our directors in Francophone Africa used to invite in their production English-speaking actors. So we have a category for that. So, the best Francophone, Anglophone integration feature film, the winner is Stephanie Afi. <laughs> Stephanie Afi. She invites in wow. her movie, The Truth, your national I.K. Ogbona. Oh. Yeah. That was your film. Wow, I will help you up. Uh, but when you come, you hug the MC. That's how it's done. You hug the MCs. You're going to speak English? I know that you speak very well English. Oh. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Steph Niafi, producer and director of Truth. So allow me to, <laughs> to speak French. Yes, speak your French. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. Okay, je suis très honorée d'être ici ce soir et de recevoir ce prix. Alors, je voulais le dédier à ma mère ici présente, qui est mon soutien. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Her mom is here. She's greeting the mother. Yeah. Et je souhaiterais remercier Dieu pour ce prix, ainsi que toute l'équipe de ma production. Et un grand merci à Aiko Bona, qui a bien voulu faire partie de cette belle aventure. Vive le Zafa, vive le cinéma africain. <laughs> uh. Merci infiniment. She said she is in love with Aiko Bona. 
And if there's chance, she go like Mariam. Uh, well, he's married here with one picking. He can't walk. Yeah. They love IK. Let me call here the best male performance award in a feature film. It's coming from Cote d'Ivoire, from Abidjan, Mr. Mike Danon. Wow. The way these guys celebrate each other, eh? Wow. We should learn from them. Oh. Mike Danon is uh, this way. an yes. English speaking guy. Wow. This, he's like, he's uh, the Francophone. Uh, in uh, Cote d'Ivoire, he's a very famous mm. Mike. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Um, I'm not speaking English very well, but I'm very happy to be here for two reasons. The first one is my first time in Nigeria. Wow. It's so yours. The second time is um, the story of my family, because my daddy's first wife was a Nigerian woman. Oh. Which so, side? Which side of Nigeria? Yoru. Eh? She's Yoru. Yoruba. Yoruba? Yeah. Okay. Your father's so, first wife. <laughs> yeah. It, it didn't work out. <laughs> so three of my brother and sisters are Ivorian and Nigerian. So today I think I'm in house and I'm very, very, very happy. Yeah. So thank you. I want to say thank you, Jesus, because this is my story. And thank you, Apolline Traore. Thank you, Apolline. Thank you, all the team of the Rans Côte d'Ivoire. Thank you, thank you. May God bless you and may God bless Zafa. Yeah. Thank you. It's his first time in Nigeria. It's obvious. Yeah, it's your first time in Abuja. It's really hot. If you had known, you'd have uh, worn uh, another cloth. I wanted to ask him a question. Sir, before you go, are you single? If, you, if you're single, just raise your hand up. He's single. He's single? Yeah. Okay. Ladies! <laughs> Ladies, don't bother. Oh, Frenchmen know they drop. Oh. <laughs> Maintain your Nigerian men. Oh. Um, Monsieur, yeah. let's go ahead. <laughs> 